what did we do last time? Honestly, I didn't expect that I was going to be streaming, so I actually did not refresh myself on things. So my apologies if I am... On, on the other hand, though, that might mean that you don't get... Um, you don't get the Please. annoying recap. So maybe that'll be less annoying. Oh, there's that bird. That's a different bird. I swear to God, that's a different bird. Hold on. I want to take a look at it. And the only way that I know to take a look at it is this. No. It looks like it's made of something different, you know? But it's too far away. I don't think I can scout it, you know? Like, that one right over there. Is it the same creature? No, oh, your dude, your arm is in the way. No, okay, well. Anyway, sorry, I got a bit distracted by those. So where we are right here, I'm trying to figure out. So this is the first bonfire I think that we've had that's not actually like a fire on the ground, but it's in like a raised circular platform. You kind of wonder, is there something significant and holy about it? You know, these are the things that I wonder about. Um, this dude over here eating his soup. Hello. How is your soup? Alright. Oh, thank you, Sir Gregness. Oh my gosh. This ceasefire seems to be holding. No, I, I try to always acknowledge um, follows and, and subs and so on. Um, I miss them sometimes because my bot is currently down and I'm hoping to get that fixed up. Um, but uh, but I do try to because I feel like if you're if you're gonna come hang out with me, I should at least say hello to you unless you're lurking and don't want to be talked to, in which case I will try to respect the lurk. Um, oh man, well, I'm glad that I'm glad that you uh, you enjoyed the Final Fantasy VI playthrough. I'm sorry it I skipped last week as well. I was not feeling well, but we will be picking back up this week, this Saturday. Um, so there will be more Final Fantasy VI to look forward to. Um, the lake. What is this guy talking about? Yeah, so usually Tuesdays and Thursdays are my my game night streams. Did it did it just get super dark out? I didn't realize it was quite that dark. Okay, so this is the way we came from. Oh, I remember what happened last time. We had some, we had some adventures. I really want this. I want this metal flower. Now that I know that the metal flowers are referencing like Coleridge poetry and things like that, I want the metal flowers. But in order to get to the metal flowers, you have to get through. Oh, wait, hold on. What? There's a tall neck there? Hold on. No, but this isn't where we're going. This isn't where we're going. I said that I was going to go where we're supposed to go. I said we're going to go to the main plot, right? I, I said I was going to go to the main, the main plot here. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. And this is another, this is another cauldron right over here. Oh man, I'm probably way too low level for that. I'm probably way too low level for most of these things actually. Oh, this one is a bad news corruption zone that I am definitely too low for. So I think we're gonna continue onward with the plot and we'll go back and pick up more of these other little side bits uh, another time. How does that sound? Are you folks okay with that? I'm going out at night. This is not my best idea. And again, please do report back what you think of the audio balance. Um, to make sure that I'm, uh, I'm not knocking your ears out, but also you can hear me over the music, but also you can hear the music. Huh. This is quite a tower. It is interesting to spend so much of your time with the Nora at the beginning who have this absolute taboo, like 
you must not use the old ones. Like, they will excommunicate you from the tribe if you go to the forbidden areas. Um, and then you come out here and, like, everybody else uses old ones technology to some degree or has, has some lack of taboo about it. And it seems like following um, an apocalypse, a man-made apocalypse, it seems like one might expect more cultures to have that kind of a taboo. Um, but they do not. So, the game is a touch soft compared to me. Okay, I can turn myself down some. I can turn the game up a bit. Hold on. How's that? Is that a bit better? Can you still hear me? There we go. The music sure is ominous. God, look at that moon. Look at that moon. The moon rises. Thanks, May. Okay. That's good to have your input. Thank you. What are you guys over there? Probably bad news. Oh, I think those are cows. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna creep along here. God, it is, is, I think it's fantastic. I didn't actually think we were gonna wind up having varied landscapes. And I'm not quite sure why I assumed that everything was going to be like Nora territory. I think because I didn't realize once we'd set foot outside the embrace that we were still in technically Nora territory, you know? And so it didn't occur to me that such a great distance would mean... Wait, that one is red. Is that a light or is that... I think that's a light, okay. Sorry, I'm being careful here because I don't know my way around here. And I'm used to going places that I sort of have some sense of my way around. And as I commented last time, it's remarkable. it's remarkable to me how much this game has the like feel of being in over your head every time you go to a new area and I'm in a new area so all right so we've got some cows which I guess you can ride there's some water going on Is someone fishing or are those fish fishing the fish are fishing and by fishing in this case I mean being a fish instead of hunting fish <laughs> all right I think you're supposed to get sidetracked out here wait nope nothing to hear here folks it's interesting the creatures don't come up here this is a guarded area once upon a time you would have been safe here but not since Aloy was born and everything went to hell Lone Light. Have I been to Lone Light? Is this Lone Light? Yes, I guess I have because those are two campfires I've been to. Okay, well, we're going to continue onward. Carefully and quietly. I know, believe me. I know there's critters. I know there's bad news critters. I know that things are bad. There's a piggy. What's up there? Okay, there's that town. I've been to that town. So we're gonna go creeping this way. We're gonna see if we can figure out how to get to the town. The big, the big city. Because I'm really curious what an actual big city is going to feel like in this world, you know? <clears throat> I also wonder how many other climates we're going to go through. Like, so the Banuk are in the northern climates, much like uh, Nora territory. Um, and so there's going to be... Oh, is there a thing right on the other side there? No. Okay. There's going to be more snow there. This looks like a chimney. Where am I? Is this modern or ancient? I don't know, but the drums are telling me that this is ominous. See, if it's ancient, then that means that there's a possibility that I will uh, 
find people's lost cell phones, which I'm very eager to find all of. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Um. Oh, there's birds. Um, what if we just don't get the birds' attention? How's that? What if the birds just don't notice us? Does that sound like a good plan? Let's just not get seen by birds. Pretty sure that's what I want, is to not be seen by those birds. I'm pretty sure I'll be really sad if I get seen by those birds. What is this? Okay, better lock. Cool. Nope. Nope. Birds. There's nothing to see here. There's a new quest this way, though. That sounds significant. <clears throat> I gotta admit, it feels pretty scary to just be, like, running right through places where bad guys are. Oh, there's a quest there. There's a campfire. Okay. Do you hear... How is my battery low already? My battery's low already. I guess it didn't charge because the thing wasn't turned on. Okay, well. I need to switch over to another longer cord so that I'm not having to play like this. Although this might be very charming for you to see what is Lauren's face doing. Okay, so we've got another person there. I, this feels This feels like it should be recognizable, doesn't it? Like this particular rock feature right here. It looks so distinctive. It's, I feel like I've seen it before. This arch. No, I think I've drawn a picture that was based on this arch because I needed an arch for an illustration for a book. I was drawing some fan art to give to an author I loved. And I'm pretty sure this might have been the real world thing that I used as a base. Does anybody know what this is called in the real world? Because I swear it's a something. God, those guys are bad news. Those guys are definitely bad news. Let's go talk to a person. Let's go find out what, who, who encountered some bad news. Hello. Hello. Oh, I know you. Well, hello. How do I talk to you? Yeah. Hi, Nil. What's up, Nil? That's all you admit again. <sighs> Nil. Still hunting bandits? <laughs> you don't say. Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the son of the fight. <sighs> don't get me wrong. These scum are odorous. This man. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though. Like an incense. Oh, my God, Nil. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. Oh, my God, Aloy. Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. Oh. He's acting like he thinks that she's gonna do it. Okay, well we got a... We got a new one of those, huh? Let's take a look, shall we, at that quest. Bandit camps. Level 12, okay. I'm definitely high level. <sighs> Should we do this? I know that I said... I know that I said I was, oh, so it's this one right here. I know I said we were going to stay on track. I know I said we were going to stay on track. I know I said we weren't going to get sidetracked, but it's low level. What can I craft? Ammo, hunter bow arrow packs. Oh, hmm. Okay. Hard point arrow deals medium impact damage and high tear on impact. Useful for fighting chunkier enemies, as it more easily removes parts from machines to deal additional damage. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. So that's if you don't want to use Terra Blast because you're not sniping. Special items. What special item did I get? Oh, the Mark III. They look the same, don't they? It's the same image. <laughs> I'll try not to shoot the, shoot anything at you, a tiny goose. I'll try not to knock your tiny goose pieces off. <laughs> no, that's fair, Sir Gregness. That's fair. I am. Um, I just... The thing is, I got so sidetracked that I felt super disconnected from the primary story. And so I was like, I need to... Uh, I need to stay on topic so that I can get emotionally connected to the primary story, but, but, this is different shapes over the head. 
Mark one and then mark three, I see. Okay, that's a symbol. Sorry, I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but also trying to think about the things here. So just ignore me. Um, but yes, yeah, so I want to try to mostly actually progress the story somewhat so that I can somewhat get emotionally attached to things. <laughs> okay. So now I've got these hard point arrows. That's good to know. All right. Fine, Nil. Fine. I wondered because there's other, there's other bandits that we've seen along the way and I didn't do anything with this bandit camp right here, this two teeth bandit camp, which is really low level. I did not do that one. And I wondered if Nil would be at every one of them, but I don't know. Because I didn't see a new quest marker out that way. Alright, well I guess we're going to do this. I also want to go to that cauldron at some point. Because it turns out that it's actually extremely useful to be able to override enemies. Alright, hold on. I need to refill my healing items. Somebody pointed out that there's not as many keep. berries in uh, this part of the world. Because we are in... desert. Let's see what we got going on here. I need to find bandit warrior. Yeah, overriding enemies has definitely served a very useful purpose for me um, in, the, uh, in the recent past. God, this is such a different landscape. Oh, it's really neat. I know they must, they did compress distance to some degree. Um, So that we could have this, so we can be in the southwest here. Um. Hi, Caxips. Welcome. Oh no, is that a creeper? Are you gonna blow us all up? <laughs> all right, so we've got one, two, three, four, four. What are you standing? You're a sniper. That means I've got to take you out because there can only be one sniper, and it's me. <laughs> Those are the rules. I don't make the rules. I do make the rules, maybe, a little. Oh, is this? Okay, yeah. Can I get a clear shot at you? No. How do I get a better shot at you? What are you doing, buddy? Let's see. I want to be able to take out their sniper. Where is their sniper standing on? Where are you? Do I have to come up around from the other side? No, I think I want to be on the other side because I think I want to take out their sniper. I think I want to snipe their sniper. So I'm just going to stealthily, bravely stealth away, away. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Now, where are you? Are you the sniper? You're the sniper. Okay. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take out the sniper, folks. Now that, since we know that the bandits are all bad, that makes me feel less bad about fighting them. I mean, in the real world, like, you need to not go around determining that people are all bad. Dehumanizing an enemy is not a good idea. But, um, we are not in the real world. We are in a fantasy land. Okay, there you are. Okay, that's what we're doing. So from here, I can't see anything else. Oh, tag, you can tag the target. What happens if I tag the target? Okay. I'm really not sure what else is going to happen here. Oh, 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 here we go. What are you? You're also a sniper? There's the person I want to save. Karja prisoners. Okay, so we're going to save some Karja. I wonder if I'm going to wind up making friends with the Karja here, you know, if that makes sense. Okay, and then that's, that means there's a friend right here. Nil, Nil, get in the grass, you dum-dum. Nil. Okay, hold on. Let's see, which weapon do I have equipped? Precision, precision arrow. Is that the one I want? Yeah, not terror blast. You don't want to use that on humans. And you don't want to use the harvest arrow on humans either. This one looks like this will be good. Okay. 
Let's do this, shall we? Okay. Please don't fall. Okay, nobody noticed. Great. Good. That's what we want. Alright, sorry folks. I know I'm very, very slow when I, uh, when I take these places out. So this is probably what we'll be doing for the entire rest of the stream. My, my apologies. But we can talk about things if you want. Because okay, so there's another sniper there. I feel like maybe I'm going to slip around and... <gasps> Wait, is that the tall neck that I've already been to? I think that's the tall neck that I... Yeah, that's the one I've already been to. Okay, never mind. Don't be so excited, Lauren. You've already been there. Too bad. I'm already excited. Alright, so somewhere around here is another sniper. God. So somewhere around here's got to be a place that I can that I can hide in the grass. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. See? Nothing to see here. This is why we're taking the snipers out first. This might be a bad idea, but you know. Okay. There's another sniper down. Good. Excellent. I, uh... Okay, folks. What else is going on around here? We've got some dudes. Please do not notice your snipers. Are you a sniper? You're a warrior. You're a fighter. Is this guy going to notice? Okay. What's that? Oh, they have an alarm. Cool. I don't want that. I don't want them to use their alarm. Uh, oh, was there a campfire I should have saved at? Actually, hold on. Did I save at the campfire by nil? Or did I fail to save? Is this a campfire? It's green, does that mean I've been there? I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to tell with these things, so I'm gonna just not worry about it. I guess if we die and come back, we die and come back. Okay. Okay, no. I don't really know what to do from here, so I'm gonna continue to sneak around and see if I can take out all of their snipers. Because that seems like a good course of action. In general, if you're a sniper, I feel like it is your duty to take out other snipers. Because... I don't know. What? There's nobody in that tower? No. Get your face out of the way. There's another sniper right there. No? No, I swear there was another sniper. What's this dude just doing sitting in a chair? Lazy bones? Lazy bones? So who are the bandits in this part of the world, then? Are they the same? Is this one overarching company of bandits? Is bandit like a generic term? Okay. Is bandit a generic term for a category of people? Are you a sniper? No. Ah, uh, man. Okay, yeah, you guys are friends, and you've got health to worry about, I'm sure. Okay, we're gonna just do this. Alright, folks. I swear this place is, a, like, a famous location. Oops, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Sorry, Nil. Sorry, Nil. Maybe that dude will come over here. Nil. Okay, yeah. Good job, Nil. Okay, hold on. Come out, come out, wherever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I suppose I could throw rocks and 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 get their dudes. I suppose. Wait, that looks like a lot of dead people. Look, oh, supply crates. Okay, that's better. Yeah, we could we could throw some rocks and try to get get somebody to come out this way. 
Hmm. Shall we try that? Let's find out. Is anybody close enough to notice that? Nobody question marked. Is this dude coming to investigate? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. What? <sighs> there goes that idea. I swear there was another sniper that I wanted to take out. Maybe they're up high. No, I don't see them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Maybe this isn't the right approach. Hi, Marcus. Hello. I'm a... I'm absolutely staying 100% on track, not meandering off to side quests or anything. Certainly not me, get sidetracked? Never. That would never happen. I need to get some more healing. So we're gonna get some more healing and hope we don't die. There we go, okay. All right. I'm going to take out some guys. I know that bird. I know that bird, which would make sense. I feel like Dallas is close enough to this part of the world, you know, that the birds that I grew up listening to in Dallas would probably have a high chance of being the same birds that you can hear in this game. At least some of them. I mean, I'm sure some of them aren't. Birds migrate. All right, there was a dude around here somewhere and I want to take him out. Where is he? So taking out at least one of their snipers. Well, two of their snipers. So I should be, s yeah, there's a sniper, sniper's dead. All right, well maybe we'll take out a couple more guys. Oh man, I don't know folks. Are you sure you don't mind me taking my time doing this? Are you sure you don't mind that I'm being a slow, slow Lauren? Oh, what is that? I feel like I thought there were bad guys around here. Yeah, because I shot that one. Okay. Oh, there's somebody right over there. Oh, I bet if I throw a rock out here, somebody will come. Hold on. We're going to do this. Come on. Excuse me. Excuse you? What are you doing, buddy? All right. Well, feel free to super, super idle lurk. I guess if everybody wants to... Okay, hold on. There's a buddy. There's a buddy. Can I... Okay, no, we're, we're gonna try this again. Come on! Am I too cautious? Am I gonna have to be less cautious here? I guess I might have to. Come on, guys. You gonna come investigate this? What are you doing? Is it just one of you? Or is it two of you? Okay. Come on, here we go. We might have trouble. There we go. Okay. Oh no, your memory needs a declutter. Oh good, I got a health potion. Cool. Excellent. This is my first time doing that, actually. It's the first time I've whistled at the enemy. Oh, interesting, Sir Gregness. I guess that shows how um, much... Looks exposed. Oh. Well... That, that happened. Uh, sorry. I, I don't play super heavily stealth games. There's the other sniper. Can I hit the other sniper from here is the question. I don't know if I can. Okay, hold on. Yes! 
Okay, I need to make more bullets. By bullets, I do mean sniper arrows. Oh, am I? Oh, oh no, what am I out of? What am I out of? Hold on. Hold on, folks. I can't make any more sniper arrows. What do I need to make my sniper arrows? Wire. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I've never run out of that before. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Do I have to go buy some? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Where do you find wire? Where do you find wire? I think you have to fight robots for that. Unless like these dead bodies are gonna have some on them, which would be great. I'll take it, but probably they won't. Oh man, what am I gonna do? Do I have to teleport back to a town and do all this again? Oh man, well, I, guess I, guess, I guess at least I got a little bit of experience, but. You got wire? No, you don't got wire. Oh no. Oh no. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do without any wire? What do I do? What do I do? Get my rock. What is this? Is this another rock? What is this? It's my other rock. Okay, I didn't realize I threw a rock all the way over there, but I guess I did. If I don't have wire and I can't make archery, like if I can't make stealth arrows, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm like in a panic here thinking about what I'm going to do without my stealth arrows. Oh man. This isn't good. Nil. Nil, honey. We might have to assassinate people. I guess maybe I should have actually silent striked that person instead of silent arrowed that person. But I didn't realize. What's over there? Sniper said, hi, Phil. Phil, I can't make any more arrows. Phil, I'm all out of arrow making for my sniper arrows. On the upside, I've... Are uh, you a sniper? You're a sniper. Okay. I knew there was one more sniper. On the upside, I have assassinated everybody in here. Is it possible to come in here or will I be seen? I'll probably be seen. Is there anywhere to hide in here? Any grass in here? No. Nil. Nil, honey. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing, though. Okay. I've got Ridgewood. Okay, yeah, so this is an entrance that one can take. Okay. There are many other arrows, that's true, but these are the arrows I like best. These are my best arrows. Are there grass that I can hide in anywhere in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. See, like, cause I would just like to like, just like drop that guy bunch of supply crates. There is another sniper somewhere. Oh, there, there are grass. There is grass. Okay, cool. All right, we've got some grass. We're safe. We're safe. Oh, and there's more grass right there. Okay, excellent. Good. All right. Uh, let's make some plans about other types of arrows that we're going to do. Oh, I need to turn off their alarm. If I walk out into that grass, will somebody be able to see me? Because I feel like... Is there anybody who's close enough for me to whistle? No, there's nobody close enough for me to whistle. Whistle. Okay, we're just going to do this real quickly and hope for the best. Alright, we're hidden. Who's here? Alright, so we got some dudes there. They're near our friends that we don't want to get murdered. What is this guy? Oh! Oh, does he have one of those big guns? Oh no, he has one of those big guns. We don't want that. That's their alarm big. signal. Better keep them off it. Okay, yes, I know, I know. Okay, yeah, there's nothing to see here. Somebody there thought they saw me. Is it you? Is it the sniper? 
Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's another guy. There's another guy coming. Okay. Hello. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Into the grass, into the grass. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. Cool. Hi, Nil. I mean, Nil still sees me, but like, what's Nil gonna do? <laughs> I do not want their, um, I do not want their alarm to go off. Okay. There is their sniper. Okay, hold on. Okay. Excellent. Good. Hi, Blues. Things are going okay. There's somebody over there with a question mark. Hold on. I'm going to come over here. I thought I saw somebody with a red question mark over their head. And I was concerned. All right. So you are somebody I want to drop. Because you have the ability to do a lot of hurt. Yes, Aloy doesn't have wire so i'm gonna run out of the ability to make my arrows which is bad because everything that i do depends on my stealth arrows but i didn't stealth arrow that guy that. okay hold on looks like we got a i should i need to switch to a different bow actually as my default bow i need to this one right Yeah, this is the one I should have used at that close range. Somebody else gonna come and investigate? Maybe you've got something. Buddy, have you got something? No wire. No, I don't care about your money. I care about your wire. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Radio Shack, yeah. Oh, hello. If I drop you, somebody else is probably going to get mad. Oh, man. I really want to take you out. Okay, so you're guarding your friend. You're guarding our, our new friends. They're not our friends yet, but they will be. So there's two over there. There's a whole bunch over here. This guy's bad news. We're going to have to be careful about him. That. Oh, it's a campfire. Okay, that's what I thought I saw. Um, a red exclamation point, but it was not, in fact. You're a sniper. Okay, so there's another sniper over there. Good to know. They've got a lot of snipers. You little jerks. Why do you have so many snipers? Jeez, why do you need so many snipers? Let's see. Where are we going to go? Where else can I go here in this camp? Anywhere else I can go in this camp? Is there anyone over there? There's a dude over there. What are you? A fighter? Can you see me if I... Oh, here we go. Here's some more grass. Okay. Cool. I love that I'm invisible right now. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Who's over there? You're over there. Do I want to take out... There's a dude over here. Okay. We're going to do this. Hopefully nobody sees us. Okay. Cool. I think. Can I shoot from this distance with this, even though it's not my... Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good. All right. Good job, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. You have done well, Lauren. Picking them off bit by bit. There's another sniper over there. That's good to be aware of. All right. Whew. My heart is kind of going pitter-pat, I'm not going to lie. All right, so we've got the heavy, which is bad news. We got two folks over here guarding those two. One of them walks around, the other just sits there. We got this dude who just sits here. We've got a sniper there. We've got that guy, okay. Hold on, we're gonna go through here. How am I doing for Ridgewood? Okay, so I'm doing okay for Ridgewood. That's not where I'm low on. It's just the wire. Okay. Nothing to see here. Fortunately, these dudes aren't that observant. Okay. This dude right here. You. I could drop you where you stand, but then your friends would come looking for you. I don't want that. 
I really just don't want that guy. I haven't been hit by one of those guys, and I don't want to start, you know? Just like, that's not high on my list of things that I want to experience, is being shot by a really big gun. Okay. Okay, hold on. Does anybody see me? Did the music just get spookier? Hi, maybe I can get you to come over here. Can I get you to come over here, buddy? Just you? I want to just assassinate that person. I just want to just drop them. How many? How many? Oh, I'm sorry. I just really like it. I don't know why I like stealth so much. Why do I like? Why? Why do I like being a sniper so much? Why do I enjoy that so much? I don't know. But I think I'm gonna take this next one out. This one right here. When they come back, they're gonna get closer, and I'm gonna shoot them in the head, and then maybe I'll go and try to get that friend. That guy will be able to see, though. He's looking out that way. Maybe he'll come around and I can assassinate him next. Maybe so. I don't know. Like, the thing is, there are games in which it feels like there's like a, a, a set pattern to how you're supposed to deal with things. Um, and sometimes, in my experience, it kind of felt like Dark Souls was that way. Um... But when you have as many different factors as you've got here. Okay, nobody noticed that. Good, excellent. Um, it feels like maybe that's not the case. I don't know if I'll ever play any more Metal Gear Solids. I played Metal Gear Solid 1 as a... Lauren's overcoming her own personal trauma related to that game kind of experience, um, which I recognize is a very strange way to play that game and a strange reason to play that game. And I freely acknowledge that that is a strange thing. Um, but I haven't really felt compelled to go and play the rest of the series. I, um, I have, um, I had a friend when I lived in Texas, who was like the biggest fan of the Metal Gear series. I mean, I can't really say the biggest fan because there's a lot. What? Hold on. What is that? Oh, the glowy thing. That's that's just the campfire. Yeah. This dude's just chilling by the campfire. Um. And so I wound up having a renewed appreciation for the series because of hearing her talk about them. And so I have some familiarity with more more of them um i know some things about the story i probably had some bits of it spoiled for me because of that this dude like he's just he clearly looks like he's looking out that way but i'm just like what can i do there he is can i sneak up on him can i drop him Me. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Come on, Nil. I'm not here. That nearly skewered me. Why does that guy have... Why does he have... That on his head? Okay, well, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna switch to now this. Now it's real. Okay. Yeah. Alright. You come out here, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. Blast it! Man down! Okay, that guy's, that guy's down. Okay, cool. Maybe one of the others. That guy has... Oh, he must be the leader. That must be why he's got... That must be why he's got that over his head. You're gonna come out here, buddy? You're gonna come get killed by me? You're gonna come get killed by me, buddy? Because I will totally kill you. Yeah. What are you All gonna right. do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What do you think you're gonna do, buddies? There's nothing nothing to see here, nothing to be worried about. Come on, somebody come investigate. Somebody nope, nobody's gonna investigate. Okay. That guy had the exclamation point over his not the exclamation point. He had that thing in his head. I don't know if that makes him the leader or what. Okay. There's gotta be Okay, so that guy's up and about. I want to execute you, buddy. 
Well, I'm glad they're not reacting to the fact that their friends are dead anymore. They got used to that. That's normal now. All right, you gonna go sit back down, buddy? You gonna go sit? <sighs> oh yeah, Phil. No, clearly I am a, I am, I am that kind of an assassin. I guess I'm gonna just trash talk you pathetically. I wonder, actually. I wonder if I throw a rock. I wonder what that'll do. Let's try that, shall we? Yes. I'm gonna check that out. Okay, buddy, you do that. I'm gonna blow you up. I'm gonna shoot you in the skull. Okay. Excellent. Good. Good. All right. I'm somewhat less afraid now. Let's try throwing some more rocks. Oh, come on. Come on, people. <sighs> what? You. What, what boat? Okay. Seriously, where's your sense of confusion and curiosity? Come on, buddy. Just a rock. Nothing to see here. Huh? Huh? What could that be? What could that be? Come on, buddy. Come on, get over here. Come on! I'm gonna check that out, he says. Yes! Okay. <sighs> Alright, how many have we got? Oops, sorry, wrong button. How many we got left? Sun's headed for the west. Keep my guard up. Okay, what does that mean? Certain is the sun rising in the east, setting in the west. Okay, so that means that it's gonna become nighttime. Oh no. Okay. So what we got here? We got this guy. We got that guy. Oh, that's a sniper. So that's it. It's just those two, I think, at this point. Okay. Um, well, if that's all, then we're going to go over here and we're going to recover some stuff. No, we're going to put this out of the way. Oh, that's Nil. Sorry, Nil. I almost got you. Well, that was not what I was hoping for, but that's okay. We're gonna get my rocks. We've taken those travelers captive. We're gonna let those travelers go. Just you wait. Is there anybody else coming out this way? No. Okay, so we'll come here. Let's take a look and see. So there's just those two. I think it's just those two left think everybody else is dead. <sighs> can I free these guys? Let's see if I can. Hold on. I didn't even try to do this last time because I was so afraid of what might happen. Can I free you? Yes. I'm gonna get you out. Okay. And you? You're coming with me. Hopefully I don't get these guys killed. Is anyone else here? Okay, yeah, don't go get yourselves killed. Hopefully they don't get themselves killed. Well, if they do, I guess I'll load my save. Okay. It's just you two. You're the only ones. All right. Um, what do we got? Oh, there's some grass through there. Okay. Then we're going to go through there to that grass, and then we're going to go shoot some guys. Are you folks ready for me to go through into some grass and then shoot some guys? Are we ready for this? Are we ready to shoot some guys? Okay. Who we got? We got you. And we got you. I can shoot you. Can I shoot you from here? Okay. 
Can I see you? Oh, it looks like there's some grass in the way. Okay, hold on. I've got a, I've got a rock. This guy's gonna be like, huh? What is that? See, look at that. There we go. One more down. There's only one left. I think there's only the one left. I think it's only that sniper. I think everybody else is gone. Can I hit that sniper from here? Probably too far away. What button? That's my, okay, sorry. Can I hit you from here? I really want to. I think you're the, I think you're the last man standing. I don't think there's anyone else standing. I think you're the last one. I think I gotta shoot you and then we're done. Are you out there in the open? No. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get in my grass. Get out of the way now! Okay, we're gonna figure out what your path is. And when you're maybe in reach. Come on, buddy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I think you're too far. Darn it. Okay, hold on. Nothing. Come on. Come on, sniper. The sniper's taunting me. So you're going, well, you're going to come here. You're going to come back and I'm going to, I'm going to snipe them. I'm going to snipe them from here. I'm going to do it. <laughs> we'll see if I'm too far away. What do you think? Do you think I'm close enough to actually do this? <laughs> I love, I've been playing this game for like 45 minutes now. And I'm a, uh, this is all we've done so far. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I did it with one arrow left. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello, merchant. I'm going to sell you some stuff now. So how is that? How would you rate my performance, folks? <laughs> Hmm? Did I do okay? Are you alright with that? Well, I've got a lot of some of these things. I've got a lot of Watcher Hearts. Wow. Silent Assassin. Okay. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Hold on. I swear I picked up something that was just a selling only thing. Thank you, Ampy. I appreciate it. Only got a little bit of wire. We're gonna have to get. We're gonna. We're definitely gonna have to. I thought I got. Well, maybe I didn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess I should maybe sell some of these. I should probably put some of these. I should put some of these in my weapons, shouldn't I? Maybe I should have done that before we did this. What do you think? The street seems full of smiles. The street seems full of smiles. She says about everybody's dead. They're all dead. Hello. We're free to settle here now. Okay, yes, you are. Okay. Mark of the Ninja? What is Mark of the Ninja? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get my rocks. It's important to get your rocks. Okay, we got some healing Thank items. Enough. Cool. What do we got? Oh, hello. Fear in the city is gone. I haven't had That's a break in ages. Fear in the city. What are you even talking about? Oh, okay, here's a bunch of stuff I'm gonna sell. Excellent, I'll go do that. Kie Clay? 2D stealth game. Oh, man. What am I not able to pick up here? Oh, shock traps. Okay. Getting some traps. Oh, I guess I could have used traps, couldn't I? 
But I didn't. I didn't use any traps. I just, uh, I just assassinated everybody. Yeah, they're like, why is there a Nora here? Cause why not? Okay, so this kind of, um, this kind of bonfire, I guess, is going to be more common, I assume, in Karja cities. So this used to be a city then that got, um, hold on. All right, what have you got for me? Desert glass, all right, I'll sell that. Pick up my rocks. Rocks are important. I'm glad that I started using those. Also, did you see I did the whistle thing? I was really proud of myself. I'd, I'd never actually done that before. Um, and, uh, and I wasn't sure exactly how to make it work. So I'm very happy that we were able to make it work. Um, and it's actually fairly shockingly intuitive for me, given that things are seldom intuitive for me. Hi, buddies. Okay, let me sell some stuff. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Now, I swear I got a bunch of things that are sell only. Where are they? I swear I got some. Where are they? Here we go. Okay. A regular ancient charm, a regular ancient charm. Polished ancient charm, which I think is some sort of a token. Okay. Uh. Desert glass. Oh, you can do stuff with desert glass, too. Oh, no. Well, I can't... I can't sell it if I might be able to use it to get gear. What will I do? What will I do? If I don't have it and I need it for gear. Or to make stuff. Okay, this I don't need, though. Because I've got infinite fast travel. Man, that's so much blaze. I feel like I should sell some of my blaze. There we go. I'm like, this is so many metal vessels. So many metal vessels. Do I need to, can I sell my metal vessels? Hi, Kenny. Yeah, I know. I said I was going to take today off, but, uh, but the, 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 the dinner guests that I was supposed to have weren't able to, uh, weren't able to come. So I figured I would stream. So we took out a bandit camp. Kenny, we took out a bandit camp. I should put some of these abilities in my my gear could go for a drink. yes I'm sure you could go for a drink friend all oh, my health potions are full hold on what else is what else is around there's a dead body over here or a person yes the whistle did work actually it was it was it was helpful um then I was actually really surprised that I was able to figure it out because, like, for those of you who have been watching me, like, you know, um, a lot of things are not intuitive for me that seem to be reasonably intuitive for other people. Um, but I managed that one. So that's exciting for me. Oh, oh, I was throwing some rocks, wasn't I? Yep. Like, pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. <laughs> oh, they've got guards. Are you going to say anything, guard? Machines or bandits try to get past me, they'll have a fight. Or at least you don't put on airs. No, that's true, I don't. Unlike the Karja, who largely seem to. Alright, so what's up here? Since I didn't do this the way that Oh! There's 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 jumpables. I think you're supposed to assassinate them. I think you're supposed to climb up and assassinate them. Oh, that's very dramatic and exciting. Wow, these people really, like, immediately took to this place. Well, that's good. I'm glad. The more they move in, the less likely it is that the bad guys are going to move in again. Okay, hold on. Let's see. What? Okay, there's somebody over there that I didn't raid <laughs> their body. We got cooking pots. It's interesting because it's a huge mess over here. Oh, we're going to get that. I swear there's... Oh, there we go. There's another another sniper maybe you folks should set snipers up too because like these are pretty good sniper spots i'm just a better sniper than they were so am i supposed to be using more of those healing potions i think i am too bad i didn't where is nil where did nil run off to is Nil like oh god people i can't kill peace out i'm gone what are you doing a prisoner that i didn't free Oh my god. Did I not free this prisoner? Oh. 
Oh, Nil is right back there. Hold on. All right. Are you a prisoner I didn't free? Or are you just chilling here? Okay, you're just chilling here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right. That was Nil who's just lounging against the wall over here, right? No, it's not Nil. Okay. Okay, sorry. That's just the sort of thing that I could see him doing. Is he in the area? This isn't the embrace, Nora. You really are lost. I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am. I'm spread. More Sunday stays are coming. Did I fight did I already Is no is no not here? Did he did he just run right off? No. No. No, not that one. Bandit camps. Talk to Nil near the Gatelands camp. Nil, where are you? Okay, where are you, buddy? Oh, is that is he is he he went back there. Nil friend. Nil. Honey. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's the go. Balance is tipped towards shadow these days. Oh, the balance is tipped towards shadow. That's interesting. Oh my god, they've got nooses and uh Helmets, I think, to make an example of. Interesting. Hold on, we're gonna go turn this into nil. Maybe get some healing items while we're at it. Oh, right! What are you? What are you? Have I seen you before? I don't know that I have. I don't like you. Holy crap, that's big. Oh my god, have I found a T-Rex? I don't think I've seen that guy before. He's really big. I don't like him. Nil! Why are you over there with the cows? Nil! Nil, why are you with the cows? Nil! Why? Cows! Also, is that a T-Rex up there? Where is Nil? Nil! Nil, honey. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't activate this one. Whoops! That sure would have been awkward if I hadn't, if I died and hadn't popped up here. I forgot to buy wire. We're gonna want that. Because I used approximately 50 billion sniper arrows last time. Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later. In the calm. <sighs> it's a call to arms. From your inner desire. Not everyone's like you, Nell. Or no. cry for help. <laughs> I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she's not a big fan of him. But we're still gonna try to uh, try to figure out what's wrong with him and if we can fix him because Aloy, like any true hero that I love, Aloy is a meddler. As things as we should be. Also, Phil, that pun, that pun. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja. Oh, for them, against them. <laughs> An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. <sighs> the new king of Vod saw things differently. Called an investigation into war crimes. No. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered to investigate? <laughs> to no, assassinate. I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. You know? I kind of, kind of have to respect him for that. Also, the line like, "Aren't all, aren't all wars a crime to somebody?" I mean, yes. Nil is a really interesting person. He is a really, really interesting character. He is great because in fiction we can engage with gray characters like him or characters who are like not good. Um. Like, I don't think that any of us would want to have anything to do with Nil in real life. Um, a character like, a person who was like Neil, Nil in real life would be very different. Um, but we can explore the story of characters like Nil. We can explore potentially having sympathy for, or empathy for, or interest in, or attachment to characters like Nil. In a way that we wouldn't to people who were like Nil. And that's one of the one of the interesting things you can do with fiction is explore things 
you never would want to touch in a million years in real life. It's like people having their like fi fictional boyfriends, problematic fictional boyfriends, as long as they don't go seeking to recreate that kind of relationship um, in real life. You can have your problematic fictional boyfriend or your problematic relationship type, like archetype, like trope that you really enjoy, that you would never in a million years want to have anything to do with in real life, but you enjoy it in a fantasy situation where it's like safe and you can explore it and the interesting nuance and stuff. Um, I like that you can do that in fiction. I think that people have been having a hard time with that recently. Um, there's kind of been this idea of like, if your characters aren't good, people doing good things if your characters do bad things and we're supposed to sympathize with them like um that means says something wrong about you or about the fans of that um and like there are there are characters by the way somebody followed i'm sorry it's Fi something thank you for following friend um there's 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 something to be said where sometimes if i'm like if you like this character that that makes me really uncomfortable um but sometimes you can just kind of tell like this is interesting and cool and neat in a fictional story and absolutely repulsive in real life. I don't know. It's complicated. It's complicated. And I have, I've, I've heard really interesting arguments from like all perspectives of that. Um, but Nil, so Nil is everybody's problematic daddy, I think is what we decided he, he was. Is that, is that correct? So problematic daddy who is like, oh yeah, I'm a problem. I'm problematic. And I'm like, yes, no, that's definitely true. So I'm watching the, I'm watching the, the robots running around in the background of this and hoping that they don't see me and interrupt my story scene and murder me, but I did just save. But like the fact that Nil is like, I mean, war is wrong, right? War is bad for everybody, right? Right? Um, and he's like, well, I'll turn myself in. I love Aloy being like, there's no, there's no way you're investigating this. There's no way that you're investigating this. And he's like, no, I turned myself in. I did time, that seemed fair. And I'm like, that is really interesting. Like Nil manages to have a sort of sense of honor and fairness, despite being a bloodthirsty killer who enjoys battle, like, and, and enjoys killing people. Like, like that's the thing is he gets a sort of sadistic pleasure from killing people and he's trying to convince himself that Aloy is like him too which she's not um but he's trying to do that to kind of like normalize himself I think um but despite that like the fact that he's like well obviously if we're going to punish people for war crimes I mean I've committed some war crimes so I guess it's time for me to be punished all right You've punished me for my warm crimes. That's fair. Like, that's just really interesting. I'm sorry. That's really interesting. So let's see what crimes. What did he do? Uh, presumably, if he was fighting for the Karja, like, was he was he one of the people doing horrible things to the Nora? I don't know. Because he doesn't seem like... Like, that doesn't seem like his type of thing to do. Because, like, the guy um, that the revenge side quest is going on, if he is what people say he is... There was a certain sadistic, unnecessary, like, he chose to do evil things because he could and he had the power and what are they going to do? Um, whereas, like, that doesn't seem like Nil's style. Nil just seems like he would be like, okay, we're hiring you to kill people. And he's like, ah, yeah, that sounds like a great time, man. And he just kills people really uh, intensely, which obviously I wouldn't want to be friends with that. But it is different than the war crimes of the guy who that side quest we haven't fully explored um, has been accused of. But let's, let's, let's see. Nil will probably straight up say, oh yeah, I, I'm not going to not tell you. Why would I not tell you? I did them. I might as well own up to it, right? What were these things you did, Nil? She's nervous Acceptable about Acceptable things. Under, under the, the circumstances. circumstances. Acceptable to who? I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. If I... Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. <sighs> okay, Nil. That's very dramatic. We're all very impressed. We're, we're, we're very impressed with Nil, aren't we? 
No. So he's like, if, if you don't have rules, then I get out of control. And Nil, for all that he enjoys killing, I don't think he likes being out of control and doing that. I think he enjoys the hunt. But I don't think he likes being a monster. I think he's scared of that slippery slope falling down all the way. So he likes that there are rules. So he likes that he can be punished if he goes too far. That keeps him in line and helps him from completely losing himself. Interesting. They sent you to a rock for two years? <laughs> Is this some kind of Karja ritual? She doesn't know about prisons. No, no. Sunstone Rock is a prison south of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation. I like that. As am I. In the heat of a stone cell in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. Killing people? I'm sure. That's interesting. That's so interesting. He voluntarily was like, imprison me. So then he went there and thought about it and presumably was like, how do I continue doing the thing I have to do to feel alive, which is killing people in a way that is socially acceptable and within the rules. A look, look at Aloy's face. She, he makes her very uncomfortable. She has a lot of compassion, a lot of understanding for people. She thinks that there's still like, like there's still good in him. Like she, like she knows that he's not just straight up a monster and nothing but. But he makes her very uncomfortable, and that, that's interesting. That combination is really interesting. Find a new partner, you Aloy. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow, Nil. <laughs> and they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a Karja wedding. I'm never lonely where there's killing. To He's so interesting. Oh my god, Nil. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. No, stop that. <sighs> okay, I guess I was overleveled. Okay, so what do we got here? Broadhead, but what is the thing behind the broadhead? That's what I'm scared. Ooh! I leveled up. I got a skill point. I got max health up. What was I gonna? Oh, 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 guess what, folks? Are you ready for me to put modifications in literally everything I own? Are you ready? Sorry. So this is, are you ready for this song? Oh my God. Okay, well, what else do I wanna put in my sharp shot bow? Damage coil, damage plus fire, damage plus tear. What else do I want to put here? Can I just trade this out because I got Tinker? Because if so, tear, damage, and freeze. Hmm, interesting. Handling is how quickly you switch over, right? Handling and tear. Oh, man. Just raise damage. God, it's so good. The fire is wasted here. So my hunter bow, now I have three things I can put in here. Fire and tear. Fire and freeze handling. Damage. Tear, damage, and freeze. I think I'm gonna do the fire coil. I think we're gonna do this one. We're gonna set things so much on fire. Are you ready for how much on fire they're gonna be? All right. What else am I gonna stick in here? Well, I don't even know. I could put anything in here. We could do, we could do fire some more. And we could do, I don't even set things on fire, but I could, I will, now I will. Do more damage. Nope, I did that wrong. What, would it, what was it, what was here? What was here, fire? Fire, fire and tear, no, that's the one. Okay, and then this one. This is the one that I wanted to put a damage coil in, I think. Man, I could do so much fire. But the handling, I think I'm gonna put in my other bow. So I can waste my sharp shooting arrows really fast. Amazing. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, so where's my this one? Oh my god, look at how good my bow is. Look at how good my bow is! Oh my god, how good is that bow? Look at that. Just look at that, folks. Look at that bow. Are you impressed with that bow? I'm impressed with that bow. I'm so impressed with that bow. 
And this bow? Look at how much fire we're gonna fire with major firing. That's pretty great. And then over here, modify outfits. I could just stick anything that I want in my outfits. Okay, modifications. What do I want to put in my stealth thing? Do we want to Do we want to be more stealthy? Resist attacks? Resist corruption, resist ranged attacks, resist shock, resist corruption, resist me resist, resist melee, resist melee stock, shock and more stealth. This might be nice. I don't know. I really want to get the upgraded. Silent Hunter. And the Sickness Eater is good. Another thing I can do that you folks have been trying to convince me to do all along is these. I guess I should do these. Should I go ahead and open? <laughs> oh good. There's some wire. Excellent. Good. Oh, look at that. I got that rock. Oh. <sighs> okay. I don't know what a mighty bow is, but I guess I got it. Storm Ranger. Okay. Trailblazer. Okay, fine. Calling bow. Okay. And then there's just a bunch of traps and rocks and things around here. Okay. What outfits have we got? What do we look like? Oh, okay. Sturdy quilted outfit to protect nomads from the elements. Okay, so it's a little bit of elemental everything with two bo two modifications. So this is this so it's not oh wow, okay, that isn't actually overly useful because my survivor heavy is better because it has a little bit of, like more more benefit in all of those and the same number of modifications. Okay, so the Storm Ranger. The heirloom armor of a Karja noble warrior. It's layered metal and leather can turn both blades and arrows. Interesting. I don't even know. Oh, that's melee and and distance. So that's just plain raises. Okay. Huh. Interesting. All right. Um. So that's actually not a huge. That's actually not as good as what I've got. So what would I want to put in the? Hmm. Weapons. What is the great bow? Mighty bow. Possess possesses additional stomping power. Improved tear capability. Oh, that makes sense for the Banuk. Suited for removal of machine armor and components. So these would have been things I would have gotten actually early and they would have been exciting, but now I have better bows. <laughs> Look at my bows. Behold my bows. So good. Ah. Okay, so they've all got the same handling. These defaults are doing more damage, but they don't have the third type, which is fine. Okay, well that's cool. I think I'm gonna stick to the bows that I've got, but I might, I wanna put, I wanna put some modifications in spear, spear damage. Oh shoot, what did I just do? Did I just, oh shoot, I just disassembled that, didn't I? was the wrong button. Well, that's okay. I didn't need to do spear damage anyway. <sighs> Is it worth loading, actually? That was 22% up. Was that worth loading? Because, uh, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. I do hit with my spear a lot, and I have been hitting with my spear a lot. Not this time, obviously, because I was busy making arrows, but... I don't want to have to do all that conversation stuff again. No, it's not worth it. It's fine. Corruption coil. Okay, hold on. How do I... Okay, my spear. Overrides unlocked. The blade has been sharpened for additional damage. Look at all of those. Okay, so it can't be modified. Crafting. Modify weapons. Here we go. But you can't modify your spear. Okay, so modify outfits. Silent Hunter, what do I want to do? Do I want my Silent Hunter outfit to make me... Oh, this would be useful against gators. St having extra stealth is good, though. Part of me wants to... I wonder if I put... Where's my really good one? Is it this one? Is it the Survivor Heavy? If I put this here, this actually becomes a better stealth. Almost. Almost. Than my silent hunter. <laughs> <laughs> or 
while also resisting every element. Resist melee attacks, resist shock, and, and this resist stealth. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then what? Um... Because if I, basically if I stick this in here, then this can just be my default armor and I will be stealthier than what I've been while also having this other, like all of this other stuff, which seems pretty handy, maybe, I don't know. Either that or like this like resist ranged attacks might be useful. Resist ranged, re resist free, freeze like that might be good. This, I mean, if I'm going to put on the sickness eater, this is useful. Like, I wonder whether it makes more sense to make an armor better at the thing that it starts off at, or if you use the thing that it starts off as and then you make it not have the weaknesses. I don't know. However, we're gonna do this because we can. There, now nobody will ever see me. I can't modify my spear. Huh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, um, was there something else I was going to do? Yes. I'm going to, oops, sorry, wrong button. I'm going to uh, buy, not buy, yeah, I need to buy wire. So we're gonna teleport here. Uh, what's the teleport button? No, not, not you. Here, yes. Maybe I need a better spear. Maybe so. I don't think I've seen spears for sale. Maybe that's a plot related thing. All right, hold on. Where's the... Where's... Somewhere around here is... I'm tired of being tired, that's for sure. Where's the... Where's the... Here. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank you. I have no sense of direction. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna we're gonna buy some wire. Or we're gonna make some arrows. How does that sound? We're gonna just buy some wire. Doop 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 doop. Buy resources. Here we go. There we go. Excellent. Good. Okay. Then I'm going to make some arrows. How's that? Is that better? Oh, man. Yeah, so the captain of the vanguard, I thought that was that dude's sister. And, uh, and now she's been murdered, which is not good. Um, what is this? Oh, Ooh, do we do that? I said I wasn't in Granite. Level 15. I said I, was, I, said I wasn't in Granite. So whatever, I lied. <laughs> um, I really don't like that thing that's over there. But I want to get close enough to it to figure out what it is. Also, I need to get the rest of this medicine up. I was saying something. What was I saying? What is that giant thing over there? You know, you see, it's really big. Like, it's not just me. Like, that's on the other side of a valley, and it's that big. You know, like, it's not like it's just, like, hanging out nearby, and it's that big. That is enormous. Oh, my God. It makes me nervous. What are you? Are you the T-Rex that I've been afraid of? Because I've been afraid of T-Rex happening for some time now. It doesn't look at his arms, which is why I think it might be a T-Rex. So I'm gonna, um, hold on, we gotta get this healing. Still too far away. See, it doesn't have arms oh it has it has it has antenna thingies that's concerning what are you i just want to thunder jaw 
apex combat machine equipped with a wide array of heavy artillery and melee attacks. Hard outer casing, blaze canister, data nexus, deals greater damage to the machine. Disc launcher can be, this heavy weapon can be picked up and used after it has been detached from the machine. Cool. Freeze canister, great, odds heart. Oh, hitting this component deals greater damage to the machine. Power saw, sparker resources can be looted from this component or you can explode it and set everything on electricity. Radar disables the scanning ability. Cannon, that's no good. Oh, disables the tail attack. Good, okay, so this is part of the melee that they've been talking about. Ah, oh, echo shell. For tear ammunition. Oh, I was gonna want more of those. Thunder jaw heart, yeah. Crystal braiding. <laughs> Crystal braiding must be a big deal because Rockbreaker, Behemoth, Stormbird, Thunderjaw, Deathbringer, and Fireclaw. Those are some considerable names. Hi, buddy. I think you're bad news. I don't think I want to deal with you. I think you're bad. Bad news. So I'm just going to let him do his thing up there. And we're just going to go this way and hope he doesn't scan me. Jesus, please don't come this way. You're not coming this way. No, you're not. Yeah, I love... One thing that I like about Karja territory is the, like, the fact that there's these giant things that just, they keep their own domains, you know? Like, like nobody is around this guy's space, you know? Thank you for... Well, thank you for coming by, Sir Gregness. Good to have you here. I hope you enjoyed your, uh, I hope you enjoyed your time hanging out with us. Yeah, I think is I feel like that guy goes beyond Noposaur. He's too like I really feel like he's a T-Rex of some sort. But I'm not sure. Do T-Rexes have breath weapons? Nothing to see here, buddy. Okay. I feel like I'm going into its nest and that's not... Excuse me? What are they doing? Guys? What are you doing? Are you the dumbest Karja soldiers ever? Are you going... Meridian is this way, okay. Hold on. I thought they were gonna attack the... I thought they were gonna attack Tommy T-Rex and I'm like, don't attack Tommy T-Rex, you're gonna die. If you attack Tommy T-Rex, that's bad, 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 bad idea. Phenomenally bad idea. What is here? Bonfire? What's over there? Dead Watcher? Meganoposaurus. Maybe so. Okay. So where do we want to go? We were going to go up this way. It's it's kind of sort, sort of on the way. May, may, maybe on the way? Oh, look at that. There's like a little, a little hut down here. Cool. Good. I'm going to go save at this bonfire so that we can, um, wait, where's the bonfire? Did I miss it? Where's the bonfire? No, it's up there. Okay. But yeah, don't pay any attention to me, big guy. Don't pay any attention to me, big guy. There's nothing. I'm not worth paying attention to. I'm nothing. I'm nothing and no one. Nothing and no one. Okay, what were those? What were those Karja soldiers doing? Do they just walk right past this giant Ultra T Rex buddy? Like they went running past. God, he's so big. He's so big. He's so big. Yeah, there's just these big old guys. Oh, oh yes, yes. This is actually the real reason why we came up here is because I was like, this looks like an ancient place. Tormented giveaway. Ad, advert, excuse me. Oh, this is on its own line. Shall we do this? You ready to hear another one of these? Another data point? Tormented giveaway, exclamation point. All right, let's do this. Splatter Central is giving away passcodes to Tormented 666. Today's giveaway is sure to please die hard, Tormentors. 
passcodes to sneak peek Tormented 666 free of charge. Experience the latest installment of Jono 1's seminal Splatter, Ho Splatter Hollow franchise right alongside our review staff. Rumor is 666 pours the gore, so grab one of 66 free passes by screaming I want to get splattered to splatsend.hollow and data corrupted. So people enjoying fictional death, um, which is something that um, that we've seen actually in a few of these data points. Not necessarily in this case where they're where they're enjoying fictional death as a as a like video game experience, a hollow experience. But there are others where like they, you can be hollow watching the robots killing each other. Um, which I think that if the robots, again, if the robots develop some sort of sapience, they're not going to like that very much. Um, this is different from that. Um, sorry, we're scanning some more just to make sure there's nothing else here that I've overlooked. God, it's so big. But the thing is, it feels like a beast that if you just leave it alone, nothing happens, you know? Like, I'm not worried about it the same way that I am about others because it's not going to leave its little area. Okay, hold on. Um. Oh, hello. There's some vultures. Good to know. Like, those, on the other hand, I'm way, way more scared of the vultures, although at least I have arrows now. No, but they're, they're definitely doing something with the whole, like, fictional detachment from death and killing. Um. And I think it's probably no accident that we encounter that uh, shortly after an encounter with Nil, who has descent. Oh, that's beautiful. What is that tower? What is that way? Oh, it's green out there. Oh, there's green stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, a completely other part of like, a completely other ecosystem. Neat. I can't wait to go there and get killed horribly by more terrifying robots. No, I don't think that I don't think it's accidental that that is. Um, what are you going after, buddy? Oh, these must be like scrappers. They're bad news, and they'll go after if you kill an enemy. You have to be careful. Um, they'll they'll take stuff from the body. Interesting. So they serve a similar role in the machine eco. Excuse me, machine ecosystem here. But yeah, I actually wonder. <laughs> yeah, it does definitely feel like it's connected to. Oh, what's up there? Glint Hawks. What's that music doing? And why is there. I'm really intrigued and I'm going to explore. Um. I wonder if the robots would ever prey on humans' uh, desensitization to robot death um, and be like, come here and, uh, oh look, it's another one of these tanks. Um, come here and, uh, and, uh, and, and watch this fake death, but actually it's going to be real death. Haha, -ha, we got you. You're dead now. It's another one of those tanks. And then I'm, just, I'm curious about this like tripwire thing here. I like I wonder what's going on. There's something up there probably. But I don't know that I want to mess with those guys enough to 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 figure it out. Oh no. Oh god. Those are those are fire chocobos, aren't they? I have to get past the fire chocobos. Okay, hold on. Which bad news birds? Oh shoot. Did you see me or are you just existing? You just are you just like that? Are you just like is that just like what you do? Do you see me? Are you just being mad? Oh my god. I'm gonna give these guys some room. Hold on, sorry. I'm hoping that nothing attacks me. What is that little critter? I'm not stopping to look at it, but I'm sorry. But I'm scared of the creatures around me. So I'm trying to give them a wide berth. I 
think that that guy saw me. But I'm not sure. No, I think that they just randomly... Oh, wow. They are bad news. They're just mad birds. All right. It's that I really want to see. Like, what is Lonesome Rock? We're going to find out. It's a boar. Some animals. So let us... Let's continue onward, shall we? We're sidetracking a little bit. Here we go. I feel like I'm making good progress this stream. We've, we've done some things. We've done things. Things have been done here, haven't they? All right. What's over there? Did they destroy that washer? Did they just destroy other robots for fun? That doesn't seem like something that the machines would do. That seems- This must be Lonesome Rock. If it's a trap, I might need to go in quiet. What are we- what are we doing in Lonesome Rock again? I'm trying to remember what the deal is with Lonesome Rock. I think that the Vengeance guy said to go here. The guy who's like, what? No, not me. I would never. That was just a mistake. Okay, yes. Jan, a young Nora, is worried about his sister Nakoa, who left the sacred lands to find their father's killer. We talked to Zaid. <laughs> yes, later to leak. There we go. We're gonna write it some com- Oh my god. So this, again, I've mentioned that the dis- Seems like an ordinary outpost. I better look around. Oh look, there's water here. Um. I'm so bored. I'm bored with being bored. I'm bored with you talking about being bored. I'm bored with you complaining about me being bored. I wasn't complaining about you being bored. I was complaining about your complaining. Well, now I'm complaining about your complaining. If you two don't shut up, I'm gonna complain to Zaid, and then things will get ugly. <sighs> okay, that's some pretty good goon humor. So the outposts have a very Wild West feel to them um, because of the uh... yes I'll be going in there again oh interesting there's a uh, there's tracks of some sort what kind of vehicle have they been riding in there oops nothing to see here boys we're gonna sneak around here no um because of the like wooden facades of sorts like it feels very um like, like that's where the Wild West feel comes from, even though this isn't just boards, obviously, um, and it has very distinctive Karja um, arch architecture, which I appreciate, actually. I really like, like, one of the things that I'm really, really enjoying, and I hope that that's clear um, about this, is the, the distinctiveness of the Karja architecture. Um, but there still is a bit of a Wild West feel. And that's neat. And intentional. Hold, Outlander! What are you doing here? Oh, I thought I was going to be stealthier than that. I failed at stealthing. I didn't think the guy was going to see me. I was trying to look at me. I'm wearing my stealth clothes. <sighs> Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Hmm. Huh. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, yeah, boys. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wrap her up and tie her down. Cool. All right. To me, let's take her down. I'm down. You got me good. Not me. Deliver the final blow. Oh, okay. I can deliver the final blow. Let this pierce my heart. All right. Let's see what's Zayat's hiding out here. Yeah. Yeah. I did not do that as stealthily as I wanted to. I was hoping I'd be able to sneak around the back. It's cute that they had very humanizing dialogue with those guys as we approached. Um. Yeah. I probably could have actually asked questions. Um, I'm searching the supply crate through the walls. Sure, why not? Um, 
but I decided for whatever reason that I was going to be honest and I did not stealth very well. But that's okay. Okay. So I wonder if they killed her or have imprisoned her. But to, to humanize them a bit. So Zaid sent me here into a trap, as which Aloy did remind me might be a trap here. Um, yeah, well, the third guy is clearly the worst of them. You know? There are chains in the cart. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. Is he secretly part of the shadow? The shadow group? Huh. Yeah, I wondered about the. I, I did talk about the the trail. I did say that's interesting. What kind of vehicle have they brought in here? That's interesting. That track is noteworthy. You don't usually see tracks just like that. We haven't seen anything like that elsewhere. So, I, I was observant. Good job, Lauren and Aloy, making a good team. So, oh, I should probably heal. Because those guys did manage to hit me. How embarrassing. Oh, good. Okay, well, we found some, found some horses if we want horses. Uh, great, I'm not going to be getting a horse right now. Oh, I should probably actually investigate in case there's like... Yes, I know, I know. In case there's something noteworthy or a data point around. There's a campfire up ahead. Okay, good. Campfire discovered. There's gonna be a boss fight or something coming up, I'm guessing. Yeah, this this doesn't this feel like a safe point before a boss fight or something like that? That's what it does to me anyway. This is gonna be bad news. Man, here I was not sure I was going to have the energy to play through an entire stream. Oh, granted, I, I started very late, but still, like, I'm like, oh my god, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I mean, do you remember how nervous I was the first time I fought um, a bandit camp? And I was like, oh, do I have to do this? Do I have to do this? And this time I was like, oh, I guess I'll figure this out. Because by playing the game, you learn to play the game. So I've gotten better at it and more confident and comfortable. Okay, hold on. I still feel easily overwhelmed by things that are new and different. But, uh, okay, yes, I still see the cart. Very nice. Get some healing. Man, they sure do make you traverse the countryside whenever you have to do one of these investigations. Man, look at that. Just, like, look at these rock formations. What are they called? Mesas? Are these mesas? Do these count as mesas? I think they do. I think this is literally the definition of a mesa. Hmm. I need to get silent and run at some point. Campfire discovered where? Where's that campfire? Oh, it's it's up. Up there somewhere. So probably some interesting stuff up that way. <laughs> well, thank you, Jenny. I'm I am really in oh, there's another campfire? a lot of campfires something bad's gonna happen for them to have this many campfires around there's no way that's an accident like this feels like a game balance thing I haven't figured out exactly what is up with the campfire placement there's a lot of exciting stuff going on what can I say the tracks lead to that compound maybe Nicole's inside compound oh no oh geez so we're gonna have a we're gonna have slave labor, but we're gonna have to break out here, aren't we? Nil, nil, honey, nil. I could I could actually use your services here, pal. I could really use nil. Actually, for this. 
Not that he does anything. He doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> yeah, there she goes. Is she the only one they've got? Really? I guess they're probably going to sacrifice her. I guess they must be the true believers. They must be the, the shadow. They've got to be the shadow. Well, this is probably going to get heavy and kind of awful, isn't it? Sounds like Nico is here. And I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. Okay. How many guards have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight. Are you a, are you a sniper? Oh, I can't just shoot that guy in the head from where I stand. I should probably sneak around some oh, wait there's like i'm in the grass now oh my god are you a guard is anybody with an eyesight of you oh i could probably drop you i could probably drop you i probably shouldn't All right, we're going to just scope it out a little bit. So the other place was just training for this, really. Wait, hold on. What? Who or what is... Supply crate, okay. Keep expecting that to be a dead body, but it's not. Okay, so yeah, so there, there's this guy. If you're on the roof, he'll see me. There's that guy. This guy right here. That dude and that... Okay, so that guy's going there. Okay, so there's somebody over there. And somebody there. I think I want to get up there. And then drop people from up there, but I'm not sure the best way to do that. I think I'm just gonna head here. That's One a good start. Drudges from the cellar tried to bite me. Drudges. Yeah, they do that. Best to whip them, but quit before they get too red. Okay, so yeah, so just in case you, in case you. Okay, that's one down. Oops. Might help. If I... Hold on. What do we got? You. You're heading that way. You, I want to drop. I think I can, I think I can drop that guy from here. Yeah, I think I can, I think I, yeah, I can get a good view on you. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, how that's so that's two down. Uh just gonna stealth assassinate everybody else. Like you, are you close enough? Okay, you are. Well that's good. Good to know. Hold on, let's uh Let's do this right here. Yeah, come on. Something over here? Come on, buddy. Oh my god. You dum dum. You dum dum. You dum dum. What are you doing? Come over you here. Hear that? Come on, you dum dum. Oh my god. Folks. I'm gonna check that out. Zai did not hire the biggest brains, did he? Thanks, Jenny. I feel like I'm pretty decent at good shots. This dude says he's gonna check it out, but then he doesn't. Buddy, what are you doing? Buddy, get over here. Come here, buddy. I'm going in. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, it's just you. Come on. Oh my god. Folks. Heard something. You don't say. You don't say. Come on, you dolt. Oh, oh my god. 
What? Did they glitch? Did they glitch? Oh my god. Get over here. Okay. Oh my god. I'm going in. Are you going in? Are you really, buddy? Oh, is he in that little house? Got something. Oh, he's in that little house, isn't he? Oh my gosh. Aloy, get in. Get in the grass, Aloy. Boss told me to hide in my shack when the buyers come. It's because you stink and embarrasses them, you bum. Maybe swim in a creek once in a while. Nothing good can come of this place. That's true. Nothing good can come of this place. I think I'm doing pretty well. Okay, so that dude was in his little shack. Okay. Now the real test here. I guess I should probably switch to this and shoot each of these guys. We got company. Ah! Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, boys. You won't survive this. Oh shoot. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Jeez, oh 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 jeez. So much for my stealth attack. Okay. Well, that could be worse. Okay, hold on, we're gonna switch. Will you? Don't get cocky. Okay. Okay. So that's taking out all the bad guys. Okay, so there's a bunch of captives then. That's not just the girl I'm looking for. Okay, well, I will loot these guys. I was hoping to have done that with more grace, but unfortunately, didn't happen. So how would you rate that, folks? <laughs> I definitely did not get Silent Assassin. That is definitely not a Silent Ass Assassin. Uh, it would have been okay if I'd been patient, but I really wanted that one guy. And then I was like, I'll take the two of them out. And then <sighs> I got greedy, I guess. Hi, Karja Outlander. Desert glass. Because they're from the desert. All right. Not too much already. Okay. I should probably actually use those. Well, I'm glad it was entertaining. I just didn't, uh, did not perform as well as, man. That's right, I killed a dude up there. Oh, that's what I should have done, is I should have gone up there and sniped everybody else. Oh, what was I thinking? Why didn't I do that? All right, next time I do that, then I get the high ground. You just creep around here after having taken out that guy. You hope for the best. You get up here, and then you're like, all right, I'm going to snipe you guys. And they're like, oh no, I got sniped. And then that's that. Okay, what else have we got going on here? We have a dead guy, and then in there is Nakoa, and presumably there's others that I have to let out too. Um, but we'll go down there, or did I already try to get whatever there was? Well, we'll, we'll go down there. Is, is there a way to, can I like, oops, shoot, I didn't die though. So there's that. I thought maybe she'd grab that, I can't tell. I'm not very good at telling what I can jump on or not. That's the first time I think that I've tried to jump on the wrong thing. So they've got these little... Man, this is this place is... This place is bad news, can you tell? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's probably a better way to have done all of this, but that's fine. This isn't actually Hitman. So I'm not actually... Oh, that's not good. Hold on. We're gonna go around back here. See what's going on back here. Take their stuff. Yeah. Maybe there's some wire in there. 
All right, is there anything else for me to do? Any data points or something? Probably not, but you never know. Otherwise, we are going to go down there and uh, this is going to be bad news. I don't think I'm going to like this, folks. It's just Obi-Wan the, the whole thing. Yes, indeed. Interesting that they've got a bunch of plants growing there. The whole design of this place is really interesting. You know? So I don't know exactly how dark or grim this world is going to get. This game is going to get. Um, anytime you have slavery, it is automatically very bad. Prisoners chained up to be sold as slaves. Yeah. Okay, hello. Can I free you? Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. Okay, so. Please. Help us get out of here. I will. <sighs> My goodness. Nakoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. You'll need a key to get us out. One of Zaid's men should have it. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. There's going to be more fighting out there, maybe. Maybe I'm going to have to fight and kill more dudes who are going to ambush me. That would be something I am I am I am prepared for that to be the case. But let's see. Well, no, because I can scan. So. Does Nikoa still have her bow? Probably not. They probably took that. So I don't actually think that they're the shadows. The shadows are more true believers. This seems like this is more general greed. I'd have to ditch something. You know? Ah, here we go. Hunter arrow. There's some healing potions and stuff too, just in case you need them. I need to remember to use healing potions. Because I always forget to use healing potions and then things like this happen and, and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I should be doing that instead of just, instead of just the, um, hold on, where's the way, there's, I think it's up and then down, um, instead of just medicine the whole time, which is what I usually do. Now I imagine that they took Nakoa's bow, oh my god, Aloy, she's not used to going downstairs. Alright, we're gonna let you guys out. So, May, this does not seem to be known. The fact that Zaid is like, no, I would never commit war crimes. And the guy back, like, we're going to have to provide proof of this to the guy back there to be like, Zaid is doing war crimes um, still. And the I don't think that the new king will reconcile that. Um, I, don't, I don't think that he'll, I don't think that he'll, Accept it. I don't think he'd tolerate it. This is definitely going behind the king's back because the guy who's the representative of the king is like, no, Zaid. Zaid swears he's on the straight and narrow and he never did anything wrong. Um, or else we would get him. And I believe that guy, honestly. He seems pretty genuine, so. You're back. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. All right, man. Look at the uh, scars on her face. That's interesting. Please, help us get out of here. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. Okay, Nokoa's gonna let them out. Alright. Thing is, that this is a big, dark, dangerous world. And... So if these guys know Nokoa... Oh, sorry, hold on. My, con my battery, my controller battery died. Um... If these guys know Nakoa, are they, they can't also be N Nora, so they must have talked to her and gotten to know her some and realized that, like, she's, like, a strong-willed one um, and therefore, like, kind of the de facto leader. And yet this, this seems hard to hide, but if you consider how enormous their territory is and how much trouble they are having trying to navigate it, trying to defend it, 
to me, it makes sense, honestly, that um, that their Karja wouldn't be able to keep up, especially because if if there's still a fair bit of corruption left over from the previous king, people who were loyal to the previous king, um, they'll help cover it up. So I think I think between like between all of those things, like I think it's plausible that the king wouldn't know about this. Um, I'm really curious about meeting him, which I assume I'm going to do. And as the, you know, as the seeker from the Nora, I actually have some sort of diplomatic importance. So I, seeing the king of the Karja is not an unreasonable expectation. Um, sorry, I'm charging my controller. I really need to have a better charging system for this. I love how, I don't know, the the Nora are very strong and competent, clearly. And I know that it's kind of, here, I'm going to put my controller down for a minute. Um, I know that it's kind of like, you have like your like super, super war, like super soldier, like um, culture of like the chosen warriors. I think, is it, okay, so it's been a billion years since I've read Robert Jordan, but I think isn't that part of the deal with the Aesede, not the Aesede, no, the, the, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, Avienta, what's her name? Her people, the desert people, I think they're also like super, super warriors. And I think that there's like, or maybe I'm thinking of super desert warriors in something else. Uh, is in, uh, what's his name? The King Killer Chronicles. Don't they also have the martial artist, desert martial artists in the King, King Killer Chronicles? Uh, Pat Rothfuss, uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm over here trying to find another another thing that I can plug my controller in with. Um, I'm failing. Um, it's been quite a while since I uh, since I've read any of those books. But um, see if I can move this. Hold on. Oh shoot! Oh, it's in rest mode. Turn it. I'm trying to unplug my controller and instead I put the PC into rest mode or the P PS4 into rest mode. I'm sorry, folks. Give me just a sec. Come on, controller. <sighs> sorry. Sorry. All right, we're good. No, seriously, we're good. We, we got this. I swear. I know, I know. I need to... I need to charge this. Can I charge this directly in here? I need to get a controller with a longer cable. <sighs> Maybe I can charge this in here. That would be nice. Maybe. Okay. Well, maybe it's charging. We'll see. Um. Anyway, so what I was saying is that the having um, having the like group of people who are like the 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 designated warrior tribe is not. Uh, not a new concept. It is a familiar fantasy trope. Um, but the Nora don't really feel like the culture that usually you get doing that. And I find that, I don't know. I do appreciate that. And I, because I had some problems with the world building for a little while. Oh, please don't make me have to fight. Am I going to have to fight? I knew you were going to yeah. be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men. God, she's so cool. She's so cool. Okay. Hold on. I've got you marked. Okay, that guy's dead. I've got you sighted. Taking my target now. Oh shoot, okay, hold on. All right. Fortunately, Nakoa is cool. An easy shot. I love that she's trash talking them because this is, you know, we we are the warriors, the warrior people. Child play. Get ready for this. Did I get him? Is 
that it? Did we get you? Did we kill you, Zaid? Don't get too close to him. Okay. Yeah. It would have been better to bring him back as a prisoner. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. See, even getting revenge. She, uh, she's still more civilized than he is. All right, let's get some answers. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? Is that what he did? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. Okay. It's funny because she has this, like, really delicate, pretty look to her, and then she's, like, all scarred up. How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And after? Said he was going to sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time and kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. <laughs> I'm glad her spirit's not not hurt by this. I like her. She's a good character. You've been through a lot. Yeah. I'm fine. Are you sure? <laughs> Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. Yeah, it is really interesting because she has such a like traditionally pretty style to her face and she almost looks like she's wearing like mascara. But then she's like all scarred and brutal. Like, and not scarred in a, like, this, this, this person is cool, so, or, or this person is sexy or whatever, and has, like, the one scar down the cheek. Like, no. It looks like things have been brutal for her. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zayu to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. Yeah, I mean, she's probably like, I can't. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Yalan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. Okay, she's my friend now. As for Yalan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Oh, she's awesome. Okay, well, I'm glad she and I can form the, like, anti-Nora rules. Nora brigade. I think that's 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 the thing to Time do here. To clearly. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. <laughs> if you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then. Thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. She's there's just like this like strength to her. Like as a as a As soon as the others are ready, we'll head for Meridian. Like she doesn't look like the sort of character Thanks again for all your help. Who would be as strong and and tough as she is. You know? Can't de carry more. Detonating blast trap. Oof. That would be bad news if that had hit me. Um Oh, I'm low on health. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take that. And then we're going to take your potions. Excellent. Good. No, there's a lot of there's a lot of strength and toughness to her that I really respect. Um, like, she's going to be remarkable. Whatever Aloy winds up doing to change the world, or at least the culture of the, um, the culture of the Nora... Um, I think that that girl's going to be part of it. Um, and she's going to be somebody of significance. Like, even if she doesn't, like, have any, like, political power or whatever like that, she's just a very strong person who's going to inspire others. I can see why the other people who were down there with her would be like, you need to talk to her and she'll take care of this. She's really cool. She's very cool. But she doesn't look or sound or act like... She doesn't have the design of, like, the cool, tough woman, you know? And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. 
Um, she's she feels like her own character. She's young. I can't believe we're free. Nicole was all that kept me going. Yeah, I can see that. She's really inspiring. I thought I thought we were dead. But Nicoa never gave up hope. Yeah, Nicoa's awesome. I don't know what she's gonna do, but go do awesome things, Nicoa. I believe in you. I believe in you. That's neat. We are absolutely going should have brought a cart to go look her up when we get to Meridian, which is in fact I think where we're going now. Isn't it? It's a little bit of a ways. Oh, look at that. We're going to go past a vantage point this way around. This is definitely the better choice. I mean, I'll probably hate the fact that there's like gators and things, but you know. It's another tall neck. It's more cauldrons. No. We're going to keep going. We're going to try to get to. Hold on. Where is. What is this? What's out here? All these watchers. Sorry, watcher. Just gonna take your little bit of money. Be too prepared. All right. There's some gators. Are the gators fighting together? Are they fighting with each other? What are you doing? Or are they friends? Or are they just chilling? I don't know. All right. Well, we're gonna go save, and then we're gonna make our way to Meridian. I don't know that we're going to actually manage to get to Meridian tonight, because actually I should shut down. Shouldn't I? I guess this is the time that I usually shut down, huh? But I, but I, 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 I didn't shut down. Oh, I should, I should, I absolutely should. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's, it's time. It's time for me to shut down. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll get to this, I'll get to this. We'll, we'll go here. And I don't know what that is, but that looks really significant. So let's do that. Do you guys mind if we do that? Is that okay? Just one more campfire, yeah. <laughs> no, well, but I mean, like, I did start pretty late tonight. Oh, and hey, you know what? We didn't have, um... Man, this is a cool looking place. Just look at that. Oof. Hold on. Am I going the right way? Yes. We, um. Oh, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, we didn't have any internet connection issues tonight. So that's good. We rebooted our modem over the weekend after. My streams last week both got disconnected and the one before that too, and it seems to have helped, so that's good. Yeah, no, it is definitely like, sorry, we're just going to save it every save we can get to. <laughs> it is very... Because the, because the world feels so rural, so real because it's based on the real world. It like... God, I wanna know what's up there. I wanna know what those are. But that's, that's a little farther ways away. Hold on, where's the campfire that I'm getting to? This way, okay. Um, like the, the realness of it, like you do wanna like go check it out. Okay, so this was Zaid's people's place. <laughs> I will I will take care of myself. No, it's true. It's true. I will take care of myself. Don't worry. Um, but I appreciate your concern. Huh. If I go this way, I'll get there. Otherwise, I'll go here and wind up in green stuff. Oh, no. But if I go this way, then I can go to the vantage point. Yeah, we're definitely we're going to definitely go to this one. Sorry to literally everything else, but I want to go to that vantage point. I'm very vantage point motivated, okay? I really want to know more about that story. I am very glad, actually, that I've picked back up with the main story here. Because I'm... I'm enjoying seeing more... Oh, posture check. Thank you, Marcus. The wash. <laughs> That's probably true, really. Um, what was I saying? Um... 
Oh, good. Long leg sight. Excellent. Great. I love this. Those are the fire chocobos, aren't they? Where is that? Okay. So it's not immediately here. So we're going to go to this. We're just going to keep creeping forward a little bit. Okay, so when the campfire is discovered and it turns green, does that mean that you can recover there? Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Jeez, those things. They just, like, randomly throw stuff at you. Once it's green, you can fast travel to it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, but I got distracted. <laughs> okay, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep going a little bit longer. I'm sorry. So so you can fast travel to anything that's green. Got it. Okay, that's good to know. So it's very important to hit up as many of these as you can. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Where am I? Oh my god! I'm going up here. I'm going up here now. I don't know what's going to happen up there, but I'm going up there. What is this? It looks like another stadium of some sort. A stadium or an amphitheater or something. Oh, jeez. Let's not get the chocobos mad at us. Like, they seem like they notice me and they'll throw stuff. Oh, my God. Uh, hi. Hello. What are you doing? No, oh, I don't get to talk to you. Okay. Fine. What is this? What is this? Like you have to know I'm going to check this out, right? Like you have to know there's no way I'm not going to check this out. Blaze container. Blaze container. What is going on here? Something that shouldn't be? Maybe. What is this? Mining? Rock breaker mount. No, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think I wanna be here. Rock breaker. Okay, well, presumably the town is going to tell me more about it. But color me intrigued. Did they do all of this to try to fight it or did they anger it in their mining? I wonder we'll find out. What is a rock breaker? We'll find out. Hopefully we won't die in the process. Oh my god. Dudes! Dudes! You're getting murdered. I could help them, maybe. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if you can get rewarded for helping people. I don't know if they respond to you. I don't know if the world re responds to that at all. But, uh... We're going up here. There's a town up here. What is a rock breaker? Oh, I'm about to get another level. Cool. Oh, that's exciting. Campfire discovered. Cut cliffs. Oh my god. Hold on. Hello. I met Anora when I was a child. All I remember now is how heavy her bow was. <laughs> What's going on over here? Hello. Oh. It's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. They look like normal people. They don't look nearly as fancy as the Karja do elsewhere, but they also don't look like warriors. So this must be a mine. Uh, isn't it? Hello. I have nothing to trade. I'm not asking about trading. I want information. Share with me your information, please. Share with me your up to their usual standard. glyphs, maybe? I'm just looking for glyphs. Want glyphs. Supply crate? Yeah, let me steal your stuff. Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm good at this. 
Yeah, just taking money from random people because I'm in a video game. Don't try this at home, children. They don't like it very much when you do. Okay, so Cut Cliffs is the name of this place. And I thought it might be like, um, there's an ancient, even like in our time, there's an ancient cliff dwellers society, like, okay, what's going on here? Quarry foreman. Okay. They're going to be like, could you please? Yeah. Don't bother me outlander. I don't need a mercenary. I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Oh my god, this is not good. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. Oh, and now he's the my foreman. Friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. No, I'm pretty sure that it's the rock breaker. Yeah, shredding like cabbages is a very, very vivid description. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Yeah, it's going to be coming out from the ground. We already ruined this. Sorry, folks. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Chunks of corpses. Gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Yeah. No, nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately. And Saravad said, <laughs> no, that's just stupid. Yeah, you're going to get the anger of the spirits. You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff. We do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were torn apart, not blown up. Yeah, I know. I've already figured this one out. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, oh long God. kid. Okay, I like this man. He's a little simple, but I like him. Quarry. If you think it'll help. I do. Waste of time. Blood on Show stone. Was better last week. Show was better last time, huh? What Waste are you? Of time. Show was better last week. Okay. I'm not seeing not seeing any uh any glyphs on the horizon tragically. I really want one more data point. But alas, there's no data points to be had. However, rest assured we are going to go down there and we're going to investigate and it's going to be bad news. Are you ready? Are you ready to discover a really bad news robot, folks? Are we ready for bad news robot? This isn't up to their usual <laughs> Are you ready for bad news robot? I don't know that I am. Oh, I should probably save, shouldn't I? Hold on, let me save before we do bad news robot. Hold on, what's what's my run button? No, that's not my run button. That's not my run button. I thought I had a run button. That's my run button, okay. Yeah, it looks like a stadium or something like that. It very much does. And I don't know the area. So I have no idea exactly what, but. We're making so much noise. Every robot in the vicinity is like, what are you doing? I always forget that R3 exists as a button. I now remember the click the stick for the, for the, um, that, the focus button. But that's because you use it so much that even I haven't been able to forget it. Hi, Bun Bun. How do I get down? Oh, I should actually follow the road. That might help. So much for being careful. Sorry, Aloy. Okay, hold on. We're gonna stealthily run. Run, run, run. Stealth, a stealth, a stealth. Stealth, a run. Oh, is that a rock? I got all my rocks. Now that I'm using rocks, I appreciate them. I was not using rocks for like the whole first chunk of the game. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna die. Are you ready to die? Okay, examine the mound and examine the explosives. Okay, hold on. Same guy as before. 
Well, hopefully we don't die. Explosives. Corey's been doing a lot of blasting. All right. This thing right here is going to be bad news. That doesn't look like an ordinary rock pile. Now what do I do? Side quest. Investigate the quarry for a lead about who might have killed the guards. Okay. Oh, am I going to have to actually examine? Yeah, I'm going to have to actually That's examine. Strange. Where did this mound come from? Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, he's gonna kill me, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna use my focus, and then a bad monster is gonna come out of the ground, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That is not based in real life. Oh Jesus, please don't make me fight it, they're gonna make me fight it. I'm not high enough level for this. You're a big one, aren't you? Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, get out of there, get out of there, Lauren. Oops. Okay, no, 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 no. Jeez, oh 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 jeez. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Hold on, Terror Blast. was wrong. Okay, hold on. Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Hold on, we're gonna switch to the terror blast. Jeez, 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 jeez. Don't, don't, don't die, don't die. Die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I accidentally put down a trap. I didn't mean to put down a trap, but I did. Okay. Well. Oh, I didn't scan it, did I? No, I did. I did scan it. Yeah, it, once you start taking it apart and it's losing its pieces and it's just like coming at you and it has all of those like things. And that's bad news. At least I knew it was coming because I've been paying attention and I I'm glad I came out here to check this place out before. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. 
Oh my god. Okay. Well, I I I think I did okay. Oh, echo shell. That's good. That's that's for terror blast. Uh Well, that's exciting. Oops. So you knock off the armor and it becomes metal shards. I guess I could have blown some stuff up. I did not mean to put down explosives. Is that what killed it eventually? I guess I could have blown up those things. I guess that's probably part of why those are there. Well, I didn't. My goodness, look at the mouth. Look at the mouth. That thing is bad news. That thing is bad news. Hold on, let's see, what does it say about it? What do you have to say about that? Notebook, tell me about that. Or did I not, did I not look at it? I didn't look at it, did I? I should have looked at it and I didn't. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? How do I always forget to do that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, look, I don't have any explanation for that. I just, I just, I, whoo. Oh, can you look at it post-mortem? I don't think so, unfortunately. I think it has to be alive for you to see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, see. Yeah. See. Yeah. Unfortunately. No luck. Where's the... Where's the way up? Oh, there was a way up. There was a way up, right? I thought there was a way up to the town. Yeah, right over there. Okay. Yeah, no, I missed my chance. I fought a boss, though, so that's exciting. I did not complete my looking at it, though. Sorry, Aloy, I'm making you run. All right. Don't go so fast. Okay, into the town. Well, sorry, I hate to disappoint with that. But I guess maybe we'll turn this quest in and then call it a night. How's that? Does that, does that make it exciting enough? We, we fought a boss? Is that good? Yeah, he seemed like he could have really, really easily gotten out of hand. Did you see that, sir? I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa. Nor a hunter so bold. Whew. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. Thanks, sir. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. So, delightfully, delightfully, charmingly, wonderfully. I love this bit. Did I not get a level? Oh my god, I'm so close to a level. Um, now we know that there will be enemies coming from... Oh, I did level. Okay, yes. There will be enemies coming from above. There will be enemies coming from below. There will be enemies coming from all over the place. <laughs> huh. Yes, I had an audience in-game and on stream, but that is true, May. i be very impressed with Aloy's hunting skills. She's good at it. I am level 22. Oh, man, you know what that means? Oh, 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 but there's a vantage point. Oh, no, no, Lauren, you can start off next stream with the vantage point. I really want to know what this, because, like, it looks like something, but it also, if it's a quarry and they've been getting stone from there for a very long time, because the cars should have to get the stone from somewhere for their very distinctive architecture, you know? Yeah. Man, oh, man, that's exciting, though. That's very exciting. Oh, man, look at, how, look at all of this. Well, we're about to leave the deserty area and go into green beautifulness, which I'm really excited about too. Well, maybe. This might continue the desert, but I think this whole area is going to be green and beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. I bet that I should have gone and done this instead. I bet this would probably have made my life easier here, but I didn't do it. But that's okay. Mm, probably, my guess is that the cauldrons make things easier but they themselves are really hard okay so we've got cauldron here we got cauldron there and there's a tall neck over there that's cauldron like this whole section down here 
Hi, Soph. Yes, you're knocking things over. Man, it is interesting how small the spot that we started, the embrace feels, isn't it? By comparison. Oh, I didn't take this one out. Oh, I didn't take this one out. We're going to have to go do something about that at some point. Man, there's so much to do. And eventually things will be easier and more inconsequential. Um, and we will maybe knock some stuff out then. That's just been exciting, though. What resource did I get that was new? What did I What did I find that was new? Sophie? Sophie's mewing. Is it the, the crystal braiding? Large size machines, valuable to merchants. Could make something really cool. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so we'll save. Thank you, Marcus. Yes, I need to save. I, I need to get my, I need to put my, my seal. I'm going to make a seal emote so they can be both saving and healing. Huh, well, that was exciting. Despite getting off to a late start, hopefully folks who thought that I wasn't going to stream this week because I said I wasn't going to stream this week will forgive me for the excitement that they have missed out on. <laughs> yeah, so we took out a bandit camp. We progressed a major story side quest and we fought a boss, an optional boss. Which is really exciting, and I wonder whether this is something we're going to encounter again. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Or if, uh, if this is like a specialty thing, I suspect I'm going to find them again. Oh, that's nice. But I need to remember to scan things though, because I hadn't scanned that chocobo when we were fighting. Yeah. Okay. So we did save, right? We saved. Let me double check. I think we did. Yes. Good. Okay. So as a reminder to folks, this is my Tuesday game. So this is my Tuesday game. Every Tuesday we will be playing this. Thursdays are Hades. I need to put up last week's Hades um, stream, but I need to compress it all into one because the, we got disconnected twice. So I need to make it all one video, which is going to take forever and I hate doing that on my computer. But I will put that up. I'll try to get that done before Thursday's stream so that you can, so that folks can catch that if they need to catch up on it. Um, other than that, uh, we have a concert on Sunday. You should come to the concert on Sunday. This coming Sunday, starting do doors will open at 1230. So that means that I'll be like here hanging out and stuff. At one is when the music starts. There's going to be an ocarina. There's going to be a viola. There's going to be some, uh, some, some, uh, acoustic rock. Um, and there's, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I just, I blanked on who have I already introduced? Oh, 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 and then I haven't talked about the pianist. That's who I haven't said yet. Um, and then there will be me, and I will be doing video game music, singing and playing flute for you. So if that sounds like a good time, spend your Sunday afternoon with us. Um, Saturday should be more Final Fantasy VI. Um, we're approaching one year of Hades. This may be my one year of Hades anniversary on Thursday. Um, so if that's the case, like, we're getting close to wrapping it up, I feel. Um, so thank you so much for being... What are you doing, Sophie? Hi, baby. Sophie has feelings about the fact that she's locked in my room. Um, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you being here. Anyone who's been watching for the first time, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, and I hope we'll see you around to my, my regular folks. Thank you as always for tuning in. I appreciate seeing your familiar names and faces in the crowd. Um, and yeah, uh, stay safe. Uh, keep yourselves healthy as much as you can. Do something fun that makes you happy this week. Embrace the things that bring you joy. All right. Take care. And I will see you later. Bye.